One caller to Channel 3 is concerned about the new faces in politics. Mm, the female faces in particular. In this week's Three Cents, David Carnes talks about how a woman from South Pittsburgh says women have no place in politics. So I got this phone call the day after the State of the Union address, and the person didn't identify themselves, but uh, they're from South Pittsburgh, and uh, take a listen. Hi, I'm from South Pittsburgh. And the president last night said that there are more women in Congress than ever before, and that's what's wrong with this country. Women have no place in politics. When the men ran the government, we had no government shutdowns. Everybody had work. Everybody had money. It's wrong. Women don't belong in Congress. Thank you. Okay, so I didn't get a name again from South Pitt, but uh, Brett summarized my reaction and maybe yours on Facebook. Yeah. Uh, on Facebook, I also asked for your thoughts, and some of you were upset that South Pitt's three cents was even being shared. Dana said, don't air this kind of bigotry. By giving this person a forum and their 15 minutes of fame, you only encourage this kind of hateful rhetoric. And I was surprised to find that some of you actually agree with South Pitt. To a point, Alyssa said, seems to me she's onto something. Seeing a majority of those women representing our country is embarrassing. They are a hostile bunch. Renee said, women have gone overboard. They now think they are the only ones with credible thoughts. Now, Charlie went the other way and even threw a little shade at the fellas. He said, I think the woman's place is in the House or the Senate or possibly in the White House. Good save, Charlie. Now, let us face it, men, he said. They are a whole lot smarter than most of us men. Ruth said, uh, it's easy. 50.8% of the U.S. population is female. Therefore, to be truly representative of Americans, the balance of male to female politicians should be 50-50. Right now, it stands at 23%. Teresa said, women have every right to be involved in politics, but voters shouldn't vote for someone just because she's a woman. I also don't think women running for office should guilt or shame people into voting for them because of their gender. And Terry said, women are different than men. Not better, not worse, just different. No one should vote on someone based on their sex, but neither should anyone be excluded based on their sex. We've lost the concept of ideology and intelligence in this constant bickering and comparing. It's so simple. Who is best for the job? Terry, I couldn't set it, have said it better, and that's my three cents also. Hey, if you have a rant or something positive you want to rave about, I want to know. Give me a call, 423-643-9722, and give me your three cents. Tackled a good one there, Dave.